Told other people's dreams. My mate's got a radio show with so many listeners. Another has a book published with so many purchases. And they don't need to charity all of their royalties. Another has bought an apartment and eats up all their slavery. One does burlesque, another is cutting a new album that they hope will sell either on Spotify or Bandcamp. I know a banjo player who wants me at their gig. One's got another kid on the way, another's in hospital sick. I know an acquaintance who's preparing an art exhibition. I hope it goes well. Sadly, I won't be present. <laughs> One fancies themselves as an actor, most likely being a pilot, that doesn't get picked up because of the wrong advertising. A girl I was in love with is now getting married. I wish her the best of luck, along with the spawn that she carries. I see you have a new car. I assume it was very expensive. I can barely cover bus fare to get me to places. I know a bloke with a holiday home who can hop a private jet and endlessly roam. I'm overwhelmed by stories of great adventures by those who don't get up early to fix their partial dentures. Witnesses to operas and startling ballet, all-inclusive trips and fabulous getaways. I know someone who works constantly, always on the night shift, never seen the light of the day. One says at the ocean on a luxurious yacht, another faces themselves on a morning hating everything that they've got. Strangers in the pub that I knew long ago ask me how I'm doing, as if they didn't fucking know. That I'm filled with invitations for get-togethers and catch-ups, but what do I tell them other than that I'm a schlub who spends lonely nights at home immersed in dead schemes, reading about strangers' experiences, lost in other people's dreams. Thank you for having me.